Hi, Disney fans. I'm Hunter. And I'm Lisa. And it's the Year of the Dragon, right, Mushu? <laughs> and we're here at Disney California Adventure Park to celebrate Lunar New Year. From fun festivities to culinary delights, we're giving you a behind-the-scenes look you won't want to miss. This is D23, D23 Inside, Inside Disney. Disney. But wait, photo! Once again, Disney California Adventure Park welcomes guests for a celebration filled with good wishes for the new year. You can join in the Lunar New Year festivities from now through February 18th. And this time around, our pals here at Disney California Adventure Park are debuting a few fantastic additions, including brand new characters you won't want to miss. By now, you've hopefully heard that Disney and Pixar's Turning Red is coming to theaters beginning February 9th. And in honor of that auspicious occasion, May, turning into her red panda form, and Ming Lee are coming to Disney California Adventure Park. We have even more Turning Red for you with Rosalie Chang, who plays May in the film. Hey everyone, we're so thrilled. We're joined with Rosalie Chang, the voice of May in Turning Red. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. We're so excited to have you here. So Lunar New Year is upon us. You celebrate, how do you celebrate? Any traditions? Ooh, I celebrate Lunar New Year with my grandparents. Um, they always make a big meal and it's just a nice time for family to come together. Of course. And then here at Disney California Adventure Park, the celebrations are a many. Do you have any favorite celebrations here? Ooh, my favorite celebration here is honestly just the food. I love the food. <laughs> I am such a big fan of just like eating till my face is full. Like, I love it so much. I'm seeing a common thing, and you're right. The food here is absolutely delicious, but also the characters, you cannot miss them. And I just met May, your character in Turning Red. She's absolutely adorable. She really is. Do you, do you see like any similarities in yourself and your character of May? I definitely do. She's a very um, outgoing person. I'm very outgoing too. And she, we have a lot of shared experiences, like with her mom and her wanting to be independent, but she still wants to maintain that love and bond she has with her mom. It's exactly what I'm going through. <laughs> You're like, I can relate, relate, relate. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, Turning Red is coming to theater soon and we're so excited. Mm -hmm. Reminisce with us though. Did you have a favorite scene that you worked on? Ooh, my favorite scene? Literally anything involving Devin, just because it was always so funny. Like she had the funniest lines when she was drawing Devin, when uh, her mom exposed her to Devin. It's, it was so funny. <laughs> so many good one-liners too. I feel yes. like all about that hustle, am I right? I said that for like two or three months straight after I saw the movie. I still say that to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, Rosalie, we have one more thing for you. Are you ready to play It's Gonna Be May? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> You clearly have a happy May, mm -hmm. and then also May going full yeah. panda. Gotcha. So I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, and I wanna know which May you feel like you are okay. to each of these questions. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. So how do you feel about the first day of school? First day of school, terrified. Yeah. I, I don't know what's gonna happen first day of school, so I am always pandaing out for sure. <laughs> going full panda. Okay, getting creative here. Oh, okay. Playing an instrument? Play an instrument. Ooh, I think when I was younger, I mm. definitely went full panda because I went into a lot of arguments with my mom about piano. But now, going back to piano, I'm very happy uh -huh. about it and I love piano so much. Scary movies. Scary movies? I get terrified mm. at scary movies. I am, I'll be honest, I'm a big scaredy cat. I cannot handle them. My friends can like watch them stone face. I can't, I, I'm gonna be screaming my lungs out. <laughs> Karaoke. Karaoke? That I go full panda mm. for, just because I am terrified of singing. But that being said, with my friends, I'm definitely happy because they make it so fun. <laughs> okay, and to close this out. Yes. How do you feel about seeing Turning Red in theaters? Seeing Turning Red in theaters makes me so happy uh -huh. and I'm also gonna panda out just mm. because I'm panning out for excitement. Oh, I love that so much. We're so excited. Turning Red is headed to theaters February 9th, but you know what? A trip here at the park isn't complete without a group photo. I think we might have some friends joining us. Oh my God. From kid-friendly complimentary crafts, Chinese calligraphy demonstrations, and amazing live entertainment. To the Lunar New Year Wishing Mall, where guests of all ages are welcome to add their own messages of hope, health, and happiness. There are so many ways to partake in the festivities. I think it's time we find someone who can tell us all about this year's celebration. Hey everyone, we're here with Esteban Valerio, Disneyland Resort cast member. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course, my pleasure. So what makes Lunar New Year celebrations so popular for guests each year? 
One of the things that makes Lunar New Year so popular here at Disney California Adventure is the many delicious foods that we have. Uh, we bring back some popular favorites like the ever so popular quesabirria egg roll, which is so delicious. Yeah. And we always have a few new sprinkles of food around. And we have a wonderful pass, a sip and savor pass that our guests look forward to that you can purchase your favorite meals from our kiosks. This year, we have a scannable option, so that's something that's very exciting for us. Oh, that's a cool innovation to have it that way. The food looks so good. If it's a guest's first time coming to Lunar New Year, where would you suggest they begin? My tip, the Disneyland app has the menu for all of these oh, items okay. that you can find for Lunar New Year. On Disneyland.com, you can find an overview on the celebration. Right behind this arch, you have an area where you can have so many arts and crafts with families. You can meet some of your favorite Disney characters that are celebrating uh, Lunar New Year. And of course, enjoy some delicious foods. One of those characters is Mushu, who we absolutely love. We have to acknowledge it's the year of the dragon. So what's unique and different to this year's celebration? This year is Mushu is so excited. He finally gets to be in the spotlight. He's in the posters, he's in the banner. He is the logo for the Sip and Saber Pass. So Mushu is so excited to have representation during the year of the dragon. So what would be your suggestion for like a family fun day at Lunar New Year? My suggestion for a family fun day here at Disney California Adventure Park is make it an all day thing. So there's something from the start of the day to the end of the day, from our delicious foods in our festival marketplaces to our incredible arts and crafts area and amazing entertainment that comes this time of the year to celebrate, meeting some of our favorite characters. But a lot of our favorite characters, Mulan and Mushu, are in Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. This procession takes place along the entire parade corridor. And at the end of the night, we have a special showing, World of Color 1. Right before that, we have Hurry Home, a Lunar New Year celebration that sends the message of what Lunar New Year is all about. Family and friends coming together for a vision of good luck and good fortune for the Lunar New Year. So many of our friends are waiting for here to celebrate with you, including my favorite, Pop Pluta, oh. who is right here to celebrate Lunar New Year with us. <laughs> Really doing it up here, Pluto. That's a good look, Pluto. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much. And thank you, Pluto. Of course, Pluto. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do during Lunar New Year is meet our very special friends, Mickey and Minnie. You guys look great. Look at her blushing over there. The <laughs> shoes, the bow, the whole thing. It's perfect. From head to toe, Mickey's staying over here. Great seeing you. Lisa, Mickey and Minnie look so festive. I completely agree, Hunter. They look so good. Well, all of this Lunar New Year fun certainly works up an appetite. You're not wrong, Hunter. And one thing I know for sure about Lunar New Year at Disney California Adventure Park is that there are always incredible food and drinks available. Yeah, so many Asian-inspired eats and treats, and there are a ton of new ones making their debut this year. I definitely want to hear more about all the amazing offerings, including the fantastic Lunar New Year marketplaces. Well, I know just the people to give us all the delicious dish. We're here now with Chef Joanna and David, resort photographer of food and beverage. Thanks so much for being here. Everything looks so delicious. Thank you so much for coming out. It's Year of the Dragon, so we went a little spicy, but we're incorporating dishes from all around. And you can definitely tell that our theme is Lunar New Year, so we have a lot of cultures all together. So we have all the food to showcase in the background. That's lovely. Tell us about some of those new items and where can guests find them? Well, we have our showpiece right behind us, which is our steamed fish. Definitely growing up, this is something that I would find at my house during like any celebration gathering. Like It's something to bring everyone together. Cool. It is really cool. At Walking Around California Adventure, there's so many great places to eat. Can you give us a rundown of this year's marketplaces? Oh, there's so many marketplaces. Yeah. We have at least six going on right now. And each of them is showcasing just a little bit different. Like we're moving from the quesadilla egg rolls to our Kung Pao bowls over here. And over here, our macaron, everything tastes better in a Mickey shape. <laughs> and moving over to this, which looks like this display pieces, our fruit over here, those are actual desserts. That's edible. That is edible. That is a cake. Do you guys love coffee? Yes. We absolutely love yes. coffee. Yeah. This year, new item coming out, we have our Taro Bin Mi style iced coffee. That is amazing. And when you don't have enough coffee and get a little one, a little more kick, we have another version of our donuts with also adding more boba because like, we can't get enough. <laughs> this all looks so good. I love how many options there are. Thank you both so much. Okay, Hunter, that was delightfully delicious. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> well, during Lunar New Year, Disney California Adventure Park comes alive with joy-filled tributes to Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese cultures. Case in point, Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. It's the year of the dragon, so of course Mushu would help Mulan lead a magical march through the park. 
Well, I would love to hear more about this Lunar New Year procession as well as some of the other entertainment offerings this year. Let's find out more. We're here now with Tracy Hallis, show director of Lunar New Year Celebration. Tracy, thanks for being here with us. Yes, happy to be here. We'd love to know a little bit more about Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. Can you tell us more about that? Sure, Mulan's Lunar New Year procession is a beautiful parade that's filled with all the artistry of traditional Chinese dances, along with Mulan, who is hosting the procession. And it starts in Hollywoodland, travels throughout the park, and then ends up here at this beautiful Paradise Gardens area. Cool. It's beautiful and it really stands out how many different kinds of performers are included. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, so we have fan dancers, ribbon dancers, we have a beautiful dragon that's in the procession along with Mushu who is one of our favorite Disney dragons. I know him! We also have martial arts as well as umbrella dancers and we have some dragon kites that are also here to help celebrate the year of the dragon. That's lovely. And there's even more Lunar New Year celebration at the World of Color show with a pre-show. What can you tell us about that and the music in it? Yes, we have our pre-show, Hurry Home, with a composer, Tan Dunn, who created the music for this, which is just beautiful and supports the journey of the little lantern as he rushes home to be with his family for the Lunar New Year celebration. Wow, this is all so beautiful. We've been so excited to be here and sharing this. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, thank you. Lisa, what an enchanting day we've had. I agree, Hunter. I hope as many folks as possible can come and enjoy the Year of the Dragon and all the amazing offerings here at Disney California Adventure Park for Lunar New Year 2024, now through February 18th. Speaking of 2024, you can create magic at home all year long by becoming a D23 Gold member. You'll receive this year's D23 Gold Member Collector Set featuring the Magic and Mystery Box containing a Sorcerer Mickey figurine, one Mystery figurine, two Mystery Pins, and a deck of playing cards, and of course, the quarterly Disney 23 publication. It's all available to new and renewing D23 Gold Members. To find out more about the set and the benefits of becoming a D23 Gold Member, visit joind23.com. To get your fix of all the latest magic from around the worlds of Disney, including amazing behind-the-scenes stories from celebrities and creatives, check out the D23 Inside Disney podcast, available at d23.com slash Inside Disney and all finer streaming platforms as seen at the bottom of your screen. Thanks so much for watching. From all of us here at D23, Happy, Happy New Year! Year.